What's up you guys I'm back with another video and in today's video I want to talk about my airbase interview experience So yeah back in 2019 for the first 6 months I was in Bangalore with a company called Logme and I was interning there as a software engineer in their innovation team so the innovation team builds new projects and builds new innovative features for their existing product so i got my hands on new technologies like react and java spring spring boot and node js stuff like that and it instantly clicked to me right i really loved doing what i did i like building software and that was in fact my introduction to react before that i did know html css javascript and other programming like java and python and stuff but i had no idea about react and i had no idea about django i mean i had heard about all these things but i had never used them before and then i was being taught about the system architecture you know how distributed systems work and how all these big services big web services that we use right facebook instagram twitter youtube how all this works and how the systems are architected and stuff so i really got my hands on experience with very knowledgeable people and i got to learn from them so that was my first experience where i really got to learn a lot about the industry and i tried to translate that into finding my own job so yeah let's not go tangential i think coming back to the airbase thing how it happened is i already had a job offer from a company called akamai which is a pretty good company and i had a campus placement offer it was a good offer but then it was in a devops profile right at the start of my career i didn't know that i mean i didn't know i want to step into devops and because it's a very specific kind of work it was in the hotstar team i believe so it would be good but i wasn't sure about the devops thing so i was doing my internship at logmein and then i got another offer at logmein to become a software engineer they were also looking for someone who could do react and stuff now i'm on my own looking for off campus jobs right because as you all know campus jobs are pretty good but if you want to take it to the next level then you have to go for off campus unless you're from an iit or something because companies like microsoft or atlassian didn't come to my college good companies did come and i got into the best of them but the top tier companies did not come because they usually go to the iits and stuff but i wasn't going to let that stop me from getting the best placement that i could so i ended up going out and applying off campus in fact i applied for microsoft i got an interview with them but it was in a tech support engineer kind of a thing not tech support cloud support engineer i think yeah but it was a support role and i didn't want to start my job as a tech support engineer even if it was microsoft right because that wasn't something that i was interested in i want to do core development software development so i was looking online for off campus opportunities that's when i came across this company called airbase you know it was a fancy san francisco startup you know well funded very well funded in fact so airbase was at the time a stealth startup with very very good funding they hadn't even launched publicly i think they launched in april of 2019 when my interviews were going on i remember there was a delay in my interview process because of the launch so you apply to these companies online and it was a small company back then i think there were like six or seven engineers and total i would say there were 15 or so people in the company and i directly applied on angel list and i got a match actually i didn't even expect to get a match because honestly i kept applying to good companies and i figured one of them has to match right so i kept applying and airbase i remember was looking for someone with 3 years of experience writing web development front end and back end but i applied anyway and i got a match i didn't know why i got a match so actually a few months down i went and asked the ceo about you know why he matched with me and he told me that there was something i had written in my cover letter which made him to at least give me a chance right he was like let's at least talk to this guy and that happened because of my cover letter and my resume so honestly i don't even remember what i wrote in my cover letter but that got me an interview and that was it so i got an interview with a company like airbase your first interview would be to know each other right you will talk to them you will explain your background and why you are applying to airbase and they will explain what airbase is what they are trying to do what their culture is like and stuff like that it's just a fit interview right they want to see that you're looking for a job right what are what are your expectations from a job what kind of work you want to do and stuff like that they want to make sure that this is the right job for you and you are right for the job so the first interview is just that nothing technical just your background they might ask you some questions from your resume you know explain about what you did in this project or something like that but it's mainly to see if you're a good fit to interview right because interviewing takes a lot of resources so that interview went really well because i had a very good connection with the interviewer right from the get go so after that interview they actually advanced me to my first technical interview in the first technical interview i had one or two standard interview questions right they were of medium difficulty level not too difficult but they are designed to see that you can write code and you can solve your 
basic computational problems like you know basic data structures nothing too complicated right it's your standard interview questions just how you would expect it and i had already prepared for my campus placements a few months back so i was in that interview mode so i was fine with the data structures and stuff and the first technical interview went really well i was able to solve everything and after that i cleared the first technical interview then there was a coding assignment so you would get a coding assignment where you have to build a project for them within a matter of a few days they will give you the question and they will give you the requirements and you need to build that feature and that would depend on your role so if you're applying for a back end role it would be some back end api kind of stuff or if it's for a front end role you would have to build some feature of a web app or something right so i finished it in one day and i sent it off the next day there was a small change in one of the problems but it was accepted and they liked my solution so i advanced to the next round which was another technical interview so yeah your second technical interview is more like a skills interview where they want to test your knowledge about the web and how the internet works and how your browser works and stuff like that so i got questions on http protocol and what is rest and you know different kinds of protocols that can be used on the internet different layers of the tcp ip stack and stuff like that and i was good with those because i had studied that in college i did my engineering in computer science and i had also prepared for my campus placements in fact computer networks was one of my favorite subjects and i had studied all these things so i i was able to clear it So that was your second interview it's about your skills and about web and stuff. They want to know that you can do the work right because you need to have a basic level of skill set to understand how web technologies work and that was it for the technical interviews then there was a behavioral interview. In the behavioral interview they just want to understand you as a person and you know how you deal with conflicts are you a team player or not. So behavioral interview is basically to ensure that there's a cultural fit and once that culture fit is established then I had an interview with the CEO. So the final interview where you discuss your compensation and stuff like that that happens with the CEO because at that time there was no HR team. It was a small company. So yeah, I had that interview all those things were discussed and I finally got the offer and I instantly took it up because I was honestly frustrated with the Bangalore traffic even though Logmein used to send a driver to pick me up and drop me back at home every day. it was a headache to sit in the traffic for 45 minutes with people all around you honking and it's terrible it it ruins your mindset right even in my internship right i would leave my home at 9 or 9:30 in the morning the driver would come and pick me up and he would take me to log me and i would have my breakfast and all the food stuff everything was very good but when i come back at 5 that traffic really gets into your head you know you can't do anything else after that you just want to sit and chill right you really can't do anything else and you waste hours in the traffic so I was very frustrated with that whole Bangalore traffic lifestyle so it didn't take me any second thoughts because the comp was more than double of what I would make in a top tier Indian company I didn't have to think twice right? it was clearly a very good offer none of the Indian companies would pay me that much none of the Indian companies pay that much at all and I got a good offer it was a great opportunity the team was great the work was great and I'm actually realizing the benefits now because every week I get messages from recruiters of very good companies where they are looking for full stack engineers or front end engineers and this is only possible because i've been working at airbase and airbase itself is growing really fast making a name for itself in the whole silicon valley area so then your experience is very valuable right so the quality of your experience trumps over the quantity of your experience in most cases so it was a good decision in the end and it has been a great experience so far i met such wonderful people and such smart people these people are really talented and smart and One good thing about Airbase is everyone likes their job, right? There's no one who is doing it just because they have to do it. I think everyone is really passionate about their work and they really like doing what they do, which also in turn increases the quality of the work they put out. So yeah, that was my Airbase interview experience. A lot of you have been asking me about it, so here you go. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below or connect with me on Instagram. I feel really happy receiving your DMs and replying to them. So definitely leave me a dm and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and well that's it thanks for watching